Ready to chew on some hard truth? How we eat and what we eat can change the path of our evolution. In this case, it's for the worst. Let me explain. While the whole world is taken over by the coronavirus pandemic, there's a silence epidemic spreading around us for the last few centuries, just under our nose. Literally, under our nose. Our physiology is changing, an observable evolution happening as we speak. We are good at disrupting things. In this case, we have been able to turn the evolution in the wrong way. I'm talking about crooked teeth, overbite, narrow jaws, and crimped nasal airways. Science suggests this is a modern phenomenon. Recently, our skulls are deforming in a troubling, dangerous way. Are we evolving to this? <laughs> Just kidding. I hope not. When children drop their baby teeth, there is not enough room for the adult to fit in. So obviously, the result is this. Crooked misaligned teeth. This anatomy encourages serious diseases, starting from mouth breathing and many related to the stress of poor sleep, including heart disease, eczema, lowered IQ, depression, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and perhaps Alzheimer's disease. So what's the reason for this evolutionary disadvantage? It's our modern lifestyle. It disrupts our complex biological system, leading to problems as jaw pain, chronic headache, allergy, sleep disruption, and all the other associated disorders. We have this idea, overall humans are getting smarter. It's not the case. We are living in golden times of humanity. Life will never been this easy since we start cooking. Foolproof devices are everywhere. Just imagine, if we are stripped out of our technologies and tools and left alone, how long we can survive? Our brains are shrinking, our elbows are narrowing, and our faces still changing, leading to dramatic changes in our teeth, nose, and jaws. Our faces began to change about 250 years ago. Industrialization interrupted the ancestral patterns. Adoption of bottle feeding, pacifiers, and soft processed food distorted the shape of our mouth. Just like diabetes and heart disease, malocclus and misalignment of the jaws followed the industrialization around the globe. 95% humans have deviation in their dental alignment. More than 30% have recommended to have orthodontic treatment and 50% have wisdom teeth removed. Just 300 year old skeletal remain shows straight, perfectly aligned teeth, white jaws, flat palates and large nasal airways to show habitual healthy breathing. Now we have this narrow palate, short lower jaws and often insufficient space. Even animals raised in captivity show this skull deformation compared to their wild companion. This shows our modern diet and environment play a big role in our evolving faces. Charles Darwin recognized this phenomenon early on. He described, Civilized, humans are having shorter jaws than savages who lived in non-industrial societies. In the book, The Descent of Man. Aesthetically, we have to admit, modern faces looks good till you smile. But it comes with a huge baggage of problems. Can we reverse this without modern technologies meddling? Yes, we can. Yeah, but not overnight. We have to include some of our pre-industrial elements to our modern lifestyle. With proper attention to our children's diet, eating habits, and breathing patterns, and with oral posture, we might be able to reverse this pandemic. To learn more about this, read JAWS, The Story of the Hidden Pandemic by Sandra Khan and Paul R. L. Rick. This should be a global concern, but not much press or awareness created around this. I wonder why. Follow the money! The global authentic market size was valued to $4 billion in 2018. It's projected to reach more than $9 billion by 2016. We have to address the cause, not the symptoms. The focus of the orthodontic practitioner today is straightening the teeth, not on the jaw-related problems. Sugar teeth are harmless, but poor development of the jaw influences more vital functions. Let's take a list of food we eat frequently. How many of them require any effort to chew? Most of them designed to melt in our mouth. And the next best thing, chewing food considered an unpleasant habit. How we breathe just as important as what's in the air we breathe. How we sleep just as important as how long we sleep. These are all key aspects of the jaw epidemic and overall oral facial health. Let's go chew on some hard food now. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends. Signing off, this is Z.